Digital Electronics Principal Laboratory. In this video, we are going to see about the basics of logic gates. So, we have around 10 12 list of experiments. In that, first, we are going to see about study of logic gates. So, we are all aware about that. What are the basic gates? So, we are going to do all our experiment using the Logism software. So this is one of the easiest software to know the clear working principle of every individual gate. So we are going to use the platform name called Logism. So these are our gate symbol. So basic gates are nothing but AND gate, OR gate as well as NOT gate. So with the combination of AND and OR, or or as well as NOT gate we are going to get the AND, NAND gate as well as NOR gate so we are going to see the working principle of all the gates which is displayed here and we are going to verify that with the help of the below truth table so before we starting up the experiment we should be very aware about the truth table because based upon the truth table only we are going to find what input we are going to see and for the given input what are the expected output we are going to verify it so for this we are going to use the tool called logism so this is the home page of the logism software so this dotted like light structure which gives like a breadboard like appearance here only we're going to place all the different gates so I'll give a small introduction like under file we can go for the new project so I'll go for the new and then for getting the components you can find here like called wiring as well as gates so here you can find the different number of gates are available under the gates option and also for connecting wire we're going under wiring the power ground switches and for different multiplexers and all we have like so when we go into different experiment we'll come to know about it so now first we'll start with the basic gates so uh, first gate we'll take it as a and gate we just click on to this and gates so it comes in your cursor okay so see once i come out of uh, one, uh, come into the breadboard area it shows me and gate symbol so just place the and gates that's all but now you can see here like a various number of blue color dots like a one two three four as well as five but for a demo we are going to see about only two inputs so for changing the five inputs into two inputs you can see here the descriptions like a selection and the gauge if you go here we can find the number of inputs are five but for how many inputs we are going to do we are going to do only for two inputs so change that to two inputs so you can select how many number of inputs are required but always we are going to have only one output there is no changes in that so here we are going to see uh, give the inputs for two and we're going to see only a single output okay so for the input what we can do so we're going to give the input in terms of a binary that is either one or a zero and we're going to see the outputs also in terms of a 1 or a 0 or we can have it as a LED bulb okay so for the inputs we're going to choose this one this green color square box it is represents add pin just click on to that and it, it comes under your cursor also so just place it straight to the uh, first pin as plus click one more time for the second input okay so just now i placed the two inputs for the two input and get now i want an output for output i can have like a led if the bulb close that is high input if the bulb doesn't close it means that it is a low output now. so for connecting wire so here there are wiring idea point of view but if you go to the respective pin area it will come automatically the wire it is not required that like a piece space we have to go and touch that wire and all we can take automatically when we are standing near the node so just drag from the respective and get pin 
to the input pin similarly if you just go and stand near the dot okay so you can just start clicking the mouse and drag it so now we have connected the two inputs now i'm going to connect now the output of the and gate to the led bulb now the connections are over now now how to run this program now so for that you can find here like a hand like a symbol okay so change values within circuit you just click on to that and by pressing here by clicking on to the respective input we can change the input values so for example here the input values are zero if i press this it comes to a one and similarly the next input also is zero if i click on to that it changes to one so when i have the input as a one and one i'm going to have the output as a one let's see our truth table also yes so for the and gates and gate is something but the multiplication of the two inputs so when i have a value as well as b value as a one and one which means one into one is nothing but one okay if any one of the inputs are zero the output is going to be zero because anything multiplied with the zero is nothing but zero so one into zero or zero into one or zero into zero so all the outputs are zero when we have both the inputs that is a input as well as b inputs are one and one we are going to have the output as a one so we verified the so we verified the uh, first ticket now we'll go for the and ticket sorry and ticket is completed now we'll go for the or gate so or gate symbol is here i've just clicked on to that and i'll place it here okay how many number of inputs are here five number of inputs are here how many number of inputs we are going to verify only for two so go to the selection change the number of inputs as a two okay so again i'm going for the inputs so go to the input add to the pin and place it in the breadboard just straight to the input again we are going to take the second input need a uh, output as a bulb so place it in the output of your or gate now for the wire just go to the respective node area and by clicking on to the node you can drag and connect to the input okay and the output to the LED bulb so to give the input what we have to do so go to the top under the file you can find like a hand like a symbol which gives you to change your values so click on to that then only you can change your values otherwise you can't change your values now change for example for the or get let me see what is the truth table so for OR gates, it's like an addition process that is A plus B. So when I add the value of A plus B, I'll be getting an output. For example, for the first case of 0 plus 0, so there is no value which means so the output is 0. When I add like a 0 plus 1, so anything plus 1 value, I'll be getting my output. So for 0 plus 1 or 1 plus 0, I'll be having my output as a 1. And similarly for 1 plus 1 also, I'll be having the sum value as a 1 okay so for 0 1 1 0 as well as 1 1 i'm going to have your output as a 1 but when there is no input there is no output we'll see that in our experiments okay so what is the first case in the first case i'm going to have 0 0 if it is a 0 0 what is my output it is 0 if i have at least any one input as a 1 i'll be having my output as a 1 right if I have the other input as a 0, 1, I'll be having my output as a 1. If I have both the inputs, in that case is also my output is a 1. So we have verified the OR gate. Now we'll go for the NOT gate. So NOT gate. The OR gate is nothing but just a one input, one output. In other cases, we have like a minimum of two inputs, but we can increase in number of inputs. But whereas for the not get, we will having only one input and one output. So I'm going to give one input and one output. I'm connecting the not get to the inputs and not get to the output. So here 
NOT gate means it's an inversion operations. So if I give the input as a 0, automatically the output comes as a 1. How to change the inputs? I have to go to the add and change the values. Now click onto that. Now this becomes 1 and the output becomes a 0. So these three are the basic gates. So now next we are going to see about NAND gate as well as NOR gate. These two are nothing but the addition of this AND and NOR or as well as OR as well as a NOT gate. By the addition of these two, we are going to get NAND gate as well as NOR gate. So again, we will take an AND gate, place it. How many number of inputs are required for us? We need only two. So change the number of inputs. Okay. And we'll go for the inputs. I'm going to place uh, two different inputs. Okay. And connect your AND gate input to the respective input terminal. I'm connected. Now we're going to place a NOT gate in the output. Okay. Now we're going to verify the output at the output of the NOT gate. So the addition of AND gate with the NOT gate is nothing but a NAND gate. We can get the NAND gate directly, but we should know how we are getting that. So here we have the NAND gates. Let's see the operation of these two also later after completion of this step. So now we'll verify the truth table. NAND gate is nothing but the inversion of the AND, and gates because for AND gates, when both the inputs are one only, we are going to have our output as a one. That is, when both the inputs are high, my output is going to be high. If any one of the inputs are low, my output is a low. So the inversion of the AND gate is nothing but your NAND gates. If any one input is zero, I'm going to have my output as a one. That is, if any one input is a low state, my output will be high. When both the inputs are high state, my outputs will be zero. So we'll check out that. So in this cases, when any one of the inputs are zero, my output is one. Isn't it? Right. Now, in this first cases, both the inputs are zero. So my output is one. Let me verify how it is. So zero to zero, the output of AND gate is nothing but zero. Yes or no? So we'll cross verify that. So I'm changing this AND gates. So what is the input uh, for input of AND gates? 0 and 0. And what is the output? 0. So this 0 is nothing but the output of this AND gate. Now 0 passing through your NOT gate. So the output becomes 1. Right? So if I change any one of the input as a 1. So what the output becomes? It is also 0. Similarly here also I am changing one of the inputs as a 1. And what is your output? It is a 0. So this 0 goes to the input of a NOT gate. So the output becomes 1. Now I am changing 0, 1. Again your output is a 0. Similarly here also I am changing 0, 1. Again the output of AND gate is a 0. But this output of AND gate is given as an input to your NOT gate. That is a 0 as an input to the NOT gate. The output becomes 1. When I change both the inputs as a 1, my output is a 1. So here also when both the inputs, that is A and B input are a 1, the output is a 1, but that 1 goes to the input of the NOT gates. So if the 1 means I'm going to have my output as a 0. So this is performing like a NAND gate. NAND gate is the combination of AND gate as well as NOT gate. Now but we will do directly with the NAND gate also. Let me check out that. So just clicking to the drag button. So I want to change this NAND gate input selection to 2. So I'll give the same input here also. So I'll give the A input as plus B input. And I'm going to find what is my output. So output is connected to the output. But the same thing will verify now. Okay. So what are the output here will be also here. So I'll start from 0, 0 concept. So for changing the values. 
so I am changing now see now the inputs are 0 and the outputs are become 1 because if any one of the inputs are 0 the output will be 1 so if I change to any one of an input as 1 the outputs also will be 1 because the other input is a 0 I am changing now to 0 1 again my outputs are 1 if I have both the inputs are 1 my outputs are 0 because there is no input with the values of 0 so this is for NAND gates next we can go for NOR gates so NOR gate also the same process I'll change this to two inputs so for the NOR gate operation it is like an addition operation if any one input is high the output will be high yes or no so where is the NOR gate here in the OR operation when any one input is high my output is high so the inverse of your uh, OR is nothing but NOR if any one input is high my output will be zero if there is no input is high my output will be high okay so this is like like AND gate reverse operation OR gate reverse operation okay now let me check out that okay I'm taking two inputs and one output connecting the input with the gate and the output of the gate to the bulb for running the show click on to this value now when there is no inputs the output will be one when there is any one input as a high state the output will be zero so when any one input will be a high state value my output will be zero and similarly if i'm changing the other value to one the output is also zero when both inputs are one also the output will be zero so for nor gate the condition is if any one input is high state the output will be zero when both the inputs are zero the output will be one is it clear so this is our basic logic gates